नमस्ते स्टूडेंट्स आई एम जेवीन डॉक्टर अचीज मोहम्मद खान फ्रॉम डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ फूड एंड बायोटेक्नोलॉजी फैकल्टी ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर एंड वेटरी साइंस ज्योति विद्यापीठ वुमेन्स यूनिवर्सिटी जयपुर टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द टॉपिक ईस्ट एंड देयर क्लासिफिकेशन सो इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो आई डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ बैक्टीरिया एंड मोल्ड्स एंड देयर एग्जांपल्स In this video, I am going to discuss about the yeast. This subject, this topic, belongs to the subject uh, fundamental of microbiology in degree, uh, faculty, second semester, and this uh, is the second semester. So, what are the yeast? Like molds, the term yeast is commonly used, but they are hard to define. They are hard to define, and yeast refers to those fungi which are generally not filamentous. They are fungi, no doubt, but they are not filamentous, but unicellular, and they are ovoid or spheroid in shape, and they reproduce by budding or fusing. So, what is budding fusing? They are they are eukaryotic. They are They look like fungi. They are fungi, but they do not look like fungi, and they are not filamentous, and their shape is like oval, what is oval shape. And yeast may be useful or harmful, both type. Okay, and uh, mostly they are useful in the food industries, and yeast fermentations are involved in the manufacture of the food such as uh, bread. Wine, vinegar, and uh, some uh, uh, some special uh, food like uh, uh, cheese and uh, yeast are also used for the uh, production of some specific enzymes which are used in the food industries. <clears throat> so, talk about the reproduction of. Morphological structure. First, morphological characteristics. The morphological characteristics of yeast are determined by microscope. We, we observe the structure of yeast in the microscope, and then we can define the, what is the structure. So, if we talk about the form and structure of the yeast, the form of yeast may be spheroid. Okay, it may be spherical to ovoid, or it may be lemon shaped, or It may be pear shaped, it may be cylindrical, it may be triangular, or even it may be elongated into a pulse or true mycelium. They do not have a true mycelium; they have true or false mycelium, and they also differ in size. Okay, they have not a particular size; they have differences in the size. And the the visible parts of the structure are the cell wall. Okay, we can observe the cell wall of the structure. We can also observe the cytoplasm. We can also observe the water vacuoles in the yeast. We can also observe fat globules. We can also observe the granules, uh, and they can be metachromatic and albuminous. They can they may be starchy. Special staining is necessary. To demonstrate the nucleus. Now talk about the uh, reproduction. Most yeast uh, reproduce asexually. Okay, they reproduce asexually. And what is the mode of the asexual reproduction? They reproduce asexually by multilateral or polar budding. Okay, but formation. Okay. Multipolar or polar budding is a process in which some of the protoplasm bulges out of the cell wall. Okay, some part of the cytoplasm will bulges out of the cytoplasm, and the bulge grows inside and under the walls of as a new yeast cell. It is a part of the cytoplasm which comes out of the cell wall, and it will grow now, and it will it will. Synthesize a new cell. It will produce a new cell. 
in some yeast, uh, some of the film yeast and the bud appears to grow from a tube production from mother cell. Mm -hmm. Grow like some mother cell and replicated nuclear material is divided between the mother and the daughter cell. And a few uh, species of uh, yeast reproduce by fission and uh, one reproduce by combination of fusion and budding. First, if we talk about the first yeast, first yeast is produced no spores spores or other sexual spores belong to the fungi imperfect type and cells of some yeast become chlamydospores and by formation of thick wall about the cell for example the candida is an example of the yeast and the peptococcus are the examples of the false yeast they are not actual yeast but they are false yeast Sexual, if we talk about the sexual reproduction, uh, sexual reproduction of true yeast uh, results in the production of ascospores. Uh, we discussed about the ascospores in our previous video. What are the ascospores? Uh, so, they, um, the sexual reproduction is what the ascospores. Uh, the yeast cell serving as the ascus and they will reproduce by ascospores. And the formation of ascospores follows the conjugation of two cells in most species of true yeast. And some uh, produce ascospores without conjugation, followed by conjugation of ascospores or small daughter cells. And the usual number of spores, as per species, and the appearance of the ascospores are characteristics of kind of yeast. Okay, there may be. Of spores and the characteristic of spores uh, is the characteristic for identifying the yeast also. And the spores may differ in color, they may differ in color, smoothness, or roughness of the wall. And, uh, they also differ in the shape, the shape may be oval, round, thick kind of bean shape, sickle shape, okay, this shape can be found, they can also be needle shape, they can be angular, they can be hemispherical, so these are the shapes of the particular escort spores, so we can identify by these characters, and here I must share the screen so that you can understand what are different shapes can be found. So yeast may be have different shapes. So this is the first, it is a sectomasis species with budding cell. And it has four S cross pores. Okay. So it may have four S cross pores. And uh, the second B is uh, the candida yeast. It is an elongated shape. Okay. We can say that the escort force may be here may have elongated cells and uh, similarly the candida may also have different shape like pseudomycelium this is the C third number it may be pseudomycelium it is not a true mycelium it is a pseudomycelium okay and uh, it may also have lemon shape this is the lemon shape yeast. Okay, uh, fourth number. Uh, and, uh, the size of saccharomyces. This is the size of it is a shape of the size of saccharomyces and it is reproduced by the fusion. Okay, and this is Hansen mola. It is a S close force which is shaped like a Derby hats. Okay. It is a shape like a derby hat. Okay, and uh, next is the gyrosaccharomyces. Okay, uh, it is a shape showing the conjugation with ascus. And 
four square spots. So these are the square spots one, two, three, four. There is a conjugation between the uh, different squares. And this is the last one. It is uh, we can see that they are like flask. They are appearing like flask. So these are the flask like flask shaped yeast. Now talk about the culture characteristics of nutting uh, um, yeast. If we talk about the culture characteristics, the yeast are oxidative. Okay, they are oxidative. They have capability to ferment, and uh, they may have both activities: oxidative and fermentative. Two activities can be ferment. And the oxidative yeast may grow as a film. They can be grow as a film. And uh, they can grow as a pellicle, they can grow as a scum or on the surface of a liquid. Okay, and when they grow on the surface of a liquid media, they are known as the uh, film yeast. Okay. The upper layer is known as the film yeast. And fermentative yeast usually grow throughout the liquid and produce carbon dioxide. They do not grow like layer, but oxidative yeast will grow like thin on the surface of the uh, on the surface of the, uh, the nutrient growth. So this is all about the culture characteristics of uh, yeast. So my lecture is over here. Uh, in next video, I will discuss about the classics and and identify some of the yeast. So my lecture is over here. If you have any query, you can ask me.